Hey guys, it's me Tonleha. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an isometric render in Enscape. And in this video, we will be rendering this pergola seating area which we have modeled in the previous video. Now, before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Now, let's get started. So here I am in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project which we have modeled in the previous video. If you want to follow along with this tutorial you can get this project file from my Patreon or you can just watch my previous video and uh, just create this model yourself. Anyway first we are going to create uh, new materials in Revit and then we will just replace them with the Enscape materials. So let's select this model then edit type and here we have all the parameters all the material parameters which we have created in the previous video so i will just quickly create a new materials here let's call this one cushion So I have created the new materials now uh, let's replace them with the Enscape materials so for that first I'm going to start the Enscape so here as you can see we need to reset the render settings so let's open up the visual settings and click here to open up this uh, presets list let's just right click on this preset and reset to default perfect let's just hide this menu and close the visual settings and now i'm going to take the enscape uh, to to the corner here of course you can use this new enscape feature uh, pin enscape window on top of the host application if you just keep this checked to uh, keep the enscape window on top of revit window anyway i'm not going to use this so let's close this uh, settings now we'll just take Revit to this corner of the screen here. Perfect. Now let's double click to zoom in uh, to this model here. Now let's see. Uh, let's apply the Enscape materials. Go to Tools here in the Enscape tab and then open up the Enscape Material Editor. So here we have all the materials which we have just created. Now to replace them with the Enscape materials, we just need to click these three dots. Then select Replace with Enscape Material. And this Enscape uh, material library will pop up. So let's go to fabrics here and look for a fabric material for the cushion. Let's import this one. So to import that, you just need to select the material, then click replace, and uh, you'll see the effect here. Let's zoom into the cushions here. Now I'm going to increase the roughness here a little bit and I'll just make it a little bit darker so so let's click here and to make it darker we can just reduce the brightness you can see the change here this half represents the updated uh, material so let's make it a little bit darker now let's go back here and so for the metal i'm not going to load up the end skin material but i'm just going to change the color here to dim gray let's just zoom out and see this metal uh, this metallic frame here maybe we can just go to advanced and just make it a little bit darker you can see that here and then I'm going to add the glossiness to make it a metallic uh, material so to add the glossiness we can just reduce the roughness and increase the metallic uh, effect here let's reduce the roughness a little bit more and there you go we are getting this metallic effect but it's too much so let's increase the roughness a little bit now uh, I will just quickly 
uh, replace the other materials as well. And I just noticed I did not create the materials for the floor as well as for this wall here. So let's quickly do that. First, let's close the NSK material editor. And then I will just select this wall, edit type, edit, and uh, let's create a new material here. Rename wall. Click OK. OK again. Let's select the floor and create a new material for the floor as well create a new material rename floor okay okay again and i want to apply a different material uh, to this part here for that we can use split face tool to split the face of this floor so let's go to modify select split face tool and click uh, just select this face and then we can just go to level one and draw a rectangle here click finish and go back to 3d perfect now let's click here and go to Enscape tab again and then tools open up the material editor and let's apply uh, wood material to this floor here so before that we can just apply the material to this wall let's click here replace with Enscape material and go to wood here i'm going to use the wood planks material i think we need to increase the size of this so let's click replace and click on this image here we have the uh, texture parameters so let's increase it to 1.8 maybe okay not 18 it should be 1.8 let's increase the height also 1.8 now it's looking perfect now let's apply the floor material so click replace with any materials and for the floor also i'm going to use the same uh, this wood planks material let's click replace and we want to rotate this texture so let's click here and here we have the rotation parameter let's rotate it 90 degrees and increase the size of this texture to 1.8 meter here also 1.8 perfect now if you notice here uh, the same material is applied to this uh, this uh, area also so to apply a different material to this corner here we can use paint tool so let's close this window and just maximize revit and i will just uh, change the visual style to realistic and let's go to modify select paint tool here we have it paint tool and look for uh, the material which we want to apply let's search for earth material which uh, is a default material which will get uh, whenever uh, you create a new project so here i have this one let's select that and apply it to this corner here and i want to apply the same material to this uh, planters also so for that we need to select this uh, model edit in place 
now let's use paint tool again and search for earth material and I will just select that and apply to these faces here uh, faces of these planters here perfect so I think we have applied the materials to our model now we can place the assets so I'm going to use the Enscape assets so first uh, let's pause the Enscape so we can freely uh, place the assets now let's go to level 1 and open up the asset library and let's go to vegetation and just scroll down here I want to use this one for uh, this blender here so let's load this in let's place that here and if I go to 3d uh, let's just minimize this and go back to 3d and you see it's not visible here so let's just change the visual style to wireframe and if you notice we have this uh, pot also attached with this uh, plant so maybe in future versions of Enscape we'll be able to hide the pots for now we can just keep this inside uh, of this extrusion or, or this planter so let's just hide this pot for now and increase the size of this uh, of this asset so let's click edit type and here we have the height parameter let's make it 5 feet click ok seems perfect now I'll just drag this inside this planter to hide the pot and we can just copy this let's just mirror this one select that mirror from the middle here let's just take that out of this wall now we can just copy this one let's add one more here perfect now i'll just quickly add the other assets to the scene so i have placed all the assets now we can uh, move to the Enscape and create the final rendering so first let's resume the Enscape and let's uh, open up the Enscape and maximize the Enscape window now let's create the final rendering so let's open up the visual settings and uh, click here to open up this uh, preset list and let's rename this default preset to isometric render and just hide this menu and first I'm going to change the camera projection to uh, orthographic because we want to create an isometric view let's minimize this and set up the camera I think it's looking fine let's uh, create the camera view so open up the view management and click create view let's call it isometric view and let's link the preset which we have just created and click create perfect let's close this menu and now uh, open up the visual settings again and for this scene I'm going to use an HDRI so let's load that in let's go to sky and select sky box from this drop down and load up the HDRI I'm using this one which I have downloaded uh, from a free website you will find the link in the description if you want to uh, use the same HDRI anyway uh, as you can see here uh, the lighting did not change still we have uh, lighting from Enscape instead of the HDRI which we have just loaded so to use the lighting from the HDRI you need to check this uh, brightest point as sun direction just check this box and there you go the scene is completely changed now uh, we are now we have the lighting uh, from HDRI so let's go back to visual settings and here first I am going to rotate uh, the HDRI to see which uh, angle uh, works fine with this scene so I think for this scene I should leave it uh, I should leave the rotation at zero now let's edit the brightness I will leave it at uh, 1000 uh, at around 1600 now let's go to the main menu and I am going to add outlines here because let's just move here a little bit 
now i will add the outlines here to uh, show the edges of these planters let's try eight percent perfect we don't want to add too much of the outlines it will not look good in the rendering so anyway let's increase the exposure i will try around 60 or 65 percent and then go to image and reduce the highlights let's try 13 percent and i will just reduce the shadows to zero and reduce the saturation also from 96 percent maybe and then i will just increase the color temperature a bit. And then uh, we don't need any of these effects so i'm just going to make them zero and go to atmosphere and here we want to reduce the sun brightness i think around 15 percent should work fine and then uh, i want to reduce the shadow sharpness let's make it zero and uh, the ambient brightness if you want to play around with this you can try but for now i will just leave it at 15 percent and now our scene is ready to be exported so before that i'm just going to go here and press zero on the keyboard to return back the camera view and then open up the visual settings again and make sure the render quality is set to ultra and let's go to output and change the resolution to ultra hd and file format to jpeg and close this window and i'm going to press ctrl plus one on the keyboard uh, which is the shortcut key i set to export the rendering so let's press ctrl plus one and pergola seeding isometric view let's click save and our rendering is now started exporting so that's how easy it is to create the isometric views in enscape so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my rabbit advanced courses and yeah i will see you guys in the next video